right, folks. This is a 2013 Honda Civic. LX, EX, doesn't matter. It's the same thing. This is what we're troubleshooting today. Listen to this. When the heater or the air conditioning is on, the blower motor makes a little funny noise. Let's put it on the low so you can hear it. How's that? Let's go a little higher. Pretty wild, huh? All right, so that's one of two things. Either the blow motor itself is no good, or something fell into the uh, the blow motor cage. The cage looks like a little hamster um, squirrel, like a hamster cage, you know, the one that the hamster used to run on all the time. So it's most likely the blow motor is on the upside down. Uh, things can fall in there, leaves can fall in there. Um, if this has a cabin filter, cabin filter could have shredded if it's never been changed. And it could be sitting in there. It could be just debris sitting in there and just touching. Like the old days, remember on the bikes that used to put the little playing cards or a baseball card on the spokes. And when you ride, ride the wheel, it goes. All right. So it should be under here somewhere. We're going to check that out. But yes, that's the noise. Could be annoying. But that's what radios are for, right, people? So you raise it up a little lot louder. All right, we're gonna check it out. All right, so here we are checking out the blower motor on this Honda Civic 2013 LX EX, all the same. Blower motor is found underneath on the passenger side below the glove box. Okay, there's a little cover over here that covers the uh, wiring, comes off with two little Phillips screws. And then there's three of these T20 Torx. Looks like a hex nut, but it's not a 5 16th and it's not metric. Okay, 5 16th I used on here, but you can see it just touched around it off a little bit because it's too big. But it's a T20, okay? Doesn't look like a Torx over here, guys. guess because of those long slots. But anyway, take off three of those T20s after you take this little cover off. And the motor is right there. And I'm gonna drop it. And we're gonna see what this little noise is. Let me see if I can prop you up here for a second. I just wanna take that screw off. So you might be looking at something, like a glove box or something like that. Okay. All right, you ready? You ready for this? Hang on, I'm gonna grab my phone. All right, we're gonna pull it down. Remember I told you, that's either a leaf or something's in there. Look at that. Looks like a receipt. See, it's stuck on the side here. And that's what's spinning around in circles. Okay. We want to double check it. We could turn the power on. And we'll get this thing to spin. And we'll see if it's nice and quiet. What I do with my keys? Hang on. Ready? There you go. Okay. Nothing wrong with the blowing motor. Just a little paper that just blew away. I don't know where it is. But yeah. There you go. We're going to slap it back together. And we'll be good. Find that little evidence. There it is over here. This is what it is. It's a little receipt. Because it comes in from your glove box. Down and around. Unless. I doubt it. Unless it came in from the defroster. Don't know. But anyway. What is it? It's a receipt for an arcade. Dun, da, da, da. Yes, it is. Got 39 tickets. You've earned 39 tickets from an arcade. Okay. That's the baby. Now to slap it back together. Three screws. Line this up. There's a little port here. I guess that's what a vent is. Okay. Line that up. Three screws. Put the plastic cover on. And you're good to go. All right, let's start that. I'm trying to mark this up for you so you can see it. So you need, you gotta be a contortionist over here. All right, so yeah, so that little vent goes in here. And then you snap it right up. Okay, and you put your little screws in there. And that'll be part of this. All right, so yeah, 
comes right down. Watch out for that wire. There's a little clip over here that holds it. Okay, see it right there? That clip clips onto a little piece there. Line up the little vent holes there. Got to hold it one hand and start putting your screws on there. All right, T20 screws, people, T20s. All right, T20s in the back. All right, make sure everything is still there. Everything is connected. T20 in the front. Get the T20 over here. Where is it? Right here. There's a little clip. Right, there's a little tang here. Push it up, nice and secure. And now, off to this uh, wiring cover. Okay, it's deep into the hole over there. So when this is upside down, it's hard to see in there. All right, so it's deep in that hole, and this one's all the way in the back. And those are regular Phillips screws. Okay, so let's do that. All right, it's all together. The wiring cover is on with the two Phillips screws. Motor's in. The offending piece of paper is right there. Let's turn on the fan. Let's see what it does. Okay, back to normal. All right, that's what that is. Now, of course, if I was running my own shop, you need to pay the bills. You know what people are gonna do? They're gonna sell your blower motor because nobody's gonna go through all this trouble and put back the old one and clean out a little piece of paper. Okay, unfortunately, that's the way things are. Because the mechanic needs to get paid, the owner needs to get paid, the shop needs to get paid, electricity, gas, whatever. Unfortunately, this is what people do. They will charge you for it. But listen, what is it? Three screws, two screws for the cover. I pulled it down, and there's a little debris. We found it. We solved it. Let's put the, everything back to the way the customer had it. That's all. All right. Clean up your mess, and have a good day. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.